was hoping to catch up on more <clears throat> interesting videos this week um, and get back into things, but uh, my hoister's broken again. It seems to love the day before the weekend to die. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice for some strange reason. So I've got to wait for the um, guy to come because I'm stuck in bed. And we've done all the usual, let's correct it, things like pull the red cord, push the thing back in, turn it on and off, all sorts of things, and it's not worked. And I start to, I really detest it. It's driving me around the bend. It's now, this is about the fourth time since I came home in February. I can't wait to see if I can try and learn to do a bit of transferring again or something, but I don't think Dad is particularly hopeful that, that will come back, but who knows. Uh, and I've been referred for some rehab at a place called Headway, so um, hopefully, so I don't know when that will come through. Um, we shall just have to wait and see. The repairman should be here by four o'clock today. Although they said that last time and they rocked up two days later. By which point I've been stuck in my chair for two days. But you can see that video somewhere on my channel. I'll try and link it below if um, I, re I remember. And I wanted to do um, a video of trying to get back to some sort of semi-normal life. Because um, I was going to go out with Dad tomorrow to take some photos of urban decay because I like painting like run down areas and documenting them uh, in my pictures so I wanted to take some pictures of my own instead of using source photos from newspapers and old archives and things and um, dad, it, it was something dad and I could do together that we'd both enjoy so I've been looking forward to that um, so um, I shall let you know how things go and um, my usual assistant's twin sister is coming today to stand in for her and help me. It's quite lucky that she's coming really because I can't move out of bed and she can at least make cups of tea um, because Louise is on holiday so her twin sister is coming to help me which is nice. Um, so, um, and I'm going to try and find out more about wheelchairs by making phone calls again. Um, there's still no news on the wheelchair. Uh, still no news on the private wheelchair, in the one I would buy out of pocket either. So, um, I'm going to send, I think the guy may be on holiday, but I'm going to telephone them and check but because my diary is on my phone when they ask me when I'm free you always feel a bit of a fool because your diary is on the phone and you're talking on it so um I will I suppose I could talk on speaker and then it would work yeah I'll try that that work that actually works more easy for me as well but I shall uh, see you guys in a bit sorry I look such a fright one day I'll actually look really cool on my videos and I always want to look really turned out and I never do. You will see me wearing pyjamas and night dresses all the time and I think, good grief, you must think I'm so lazy. I really aren't, but I keep running out of time to get dressed with the carers because at the moment I have an hour at each end of the day. <clears throat> and then once a week I have... Um, I pay out of pocket for a like PA to come and help me with paperwork and academic stuff and I've been waiting for a reassessment now since I was in hospital so I don't think it's coming anytime soon so it doesn't bother me that much and I want to get back to doing things myself but whether you know the gap is the longer rehab takes the more I think the gap closes in getting you better, so I don't know. 
uh, well I shall um, see you guys in the next clip hi guys I'm coming to you from a different orientation in the room you might have be able to work it out but um, the hoist guy says if we have the bed uh, sort of facing this way instead of down the wall where I've had it since I've moved in I'll never see him again for repair because nothing will ever go wrong again my dad is rather um, he doesn't sort of buy into this necessarily but a friend of mine helped me reorganise the room yesterday so that was uh, useful in that sense very useful indeed she was so helpful um and i don't i can't say that dad likes it and i can, it's growing on me and parts of it i can see what he means but i don't necessarily think it's the end of the story and if a system is designed to allow you to be in an orientation it should work in that orientation but if it was a funded piece of equipment and they've used not necessarily the um, one that was possibly the best option which happens when things are funded and or not funded and this was the first piece of funded equipment I have ever possessed so and I'm finding that out because I've now had a funded shower chair and that wasn't Oh, that isn't right either it's too big for me really even with the smaller chair it's still too a smaller seat in it it's still too big but there's nothing I can do about it I can't argue the toss with whoever provides it anymore and I can make do with it until we can get to um, a place where you can see several shower chairs at once and you can try them out I've got a suspicion I could get away with the paediatric one, but who knows. Um, in terms of the shower chair, as for the hoist, um, I don't know. I mean, and I'm hoping I won't be 100% hoist dependent for good, although that is definitely the window for that possibility is uh, closing, I think. Um... But anyway, I'll put insert some pictures of my new room set up. It's not as ideal for the computer and so forth. And, uh, and I can see why Dad's sort of annoyed about it being an engineer. That is that they like very, they're very OCD engineers about things. And one engineer can't tell another engineer what to do, right? which is basically what this guy was trying to do. And I pointed out that we haven't knocked a wall down. We can put things back how they were. And it gave me a chance to clean, well, or have parts of the room clean that hadn't been cleaned for a while, which was good. And it's nice when you don't get out much to have a bit of a different orientation occasionally. I mean, I can see parts of this, uh, parts of next door that I haven't seen for well over 12 months so um, it's nice to have a bit of a different view uh, but anyway so I shall I'll be getting up later and we can do more videoing hopefully but I shall see you guys uh, in my next clip this is a new room set up so far I thought these pictures would give you a better idea so you see what we're working with at the moment. Hi guys, you join me on while well, I'm doing a little late night laundry because Dad and I are going on a father-daughter photographic expedition tomorrow so that I can get new um, painting ideas, hopefully. Um, so I shall uh, hopefully take you along I might use my better camera because I'm, I'm trying to learn how to use the actual camera. But I'm worried about getting the images off it. But anyway, we'll see how that goes.
but uh, I'll see you in my next clip.